Hello all, and welcome to my channel. Today, we have a radiation detector from the well-known company UNIT in front of us. So, let's unpack it. As you can see, it's very well packaged, with a sturdy cardboard box and an even tougher portable case inside, providing excellent protection from external factors. In the package, there's a USB-C charging cable. Unfortunately, the manual is in Chinese, making it unusable for me. The device is designed to detect beta rays, gamma rays, and X-rays. It comes equipped with a large 2-inch TFT color screen. You turn on the device with a long press on the button with the Pausi symbol, the Uper button. The device powers up very quickly and is ready to use in just a few seconds. The device menu is available in two languages, which can be adjusted. As you may have noticed, everything is in Chinese, and the default language of the device was also set to Chinese. It wasn't easy to find where to change the language. Now, if you've watched what I've shown you, take a quick look at what comes from another YouTuber. The link to his video is in the video description. In this brief clip, you can see an identical device being sold by another company. So, the packaging, equipment, appearance, and menu are absolutely the same. I want to see what is used inside the device and how it's made, so let's take a look at that. On the sides, there are silicone bumpers as shock absorbers. Anyway, the device is made very well, and it seems to be well protected even if it were to fall on the ground. As soon as you disassemble the device, you'll notice a large lithium battery with built-in protection against over-discharge, over-charging, and short circuits. On the motherboard, among other things, you can see the geiger muller tube, an unknown tube for me and even Google. The device is controlled by this microcontroller which is not typical for devices of this kind. That's the only difference you can notice between this UNIT device and the device from another company. When you compare both devices, you can see a difference in the labeling, but not in the appearance of the geiger muller tube itself. A completely different microcontroller and minor differences in the voltage booster, as well as resistors at the output of the booster used for current limitation for the Geiger tube. As you saw during the disassembly, I disconnected the battery, which reset all the settings on the device. This means that the settings are maintained by the voltage from the main battery. Also, the reset caused by removing the battery led to the language defaulting back to Chinese, giving me the nightmare of finding the option to change it back to English. So here's where you can find the language change option in case you receive the same device in Chinese. What to expect from the device I cannot tell you at this moment, but soon, I will be able to test the sensitivity of the device at a local institute for testing such devices and similar things. I will definitely provide updates on this device in a future video. Until then, follow me, like the video, and see you soon.